Hey, how's everybody doing today? This is Jim. Um, I had a quick word I want to talk to you uh, uh, to talk to you all about. Um, it's about bondage, about being in fear, where you let fear affect you so much that you f you feel the need to cling to something that 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 means you no good, whether it be addictions, whether it be a bad attitude whether it be pornography or, or whatever your bondage be, if it's not the Lord that you're yoked to, that bondage means you no good. Uh, this comes from Romans uh, 8, 15. For we have not received the spirit of bondage, again, to fear, but we have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba. Now, bondage, bondage comes from sin. When something has a hold of you so tight that you can't seem to break its grip. When you're being baited with thoughts and ideas and suggestions that are contrary to God. When you've fallen away from the truth. That's not the time to run from God. That's the time to run to God. It's all about Jesus, friends. Staying in God's grace. There's power in his name. Praise the Lord. His, his blessings bring about no sorrow. Now the enemy, the enemy on the other hand, he can't read your mind. But he can read your reactions. And when he sees you're willing to take the bait, when he sees you're your, your desiring a lustful, he sees your lustful craving to, to have an encounter with an ungodly, sinful, wicked, silly woman or man. He sees you. When he hears you're willing to give up your birthright to follow a false god, a god with a little g, not the god with the big g, the living god, in exchange for worldly riches, and a God in exchange for wealth, for reputation. He hears you. Make no mistake about it. He hears you. And he's coming. And he's coming with his minions. Now you've now you've you've you you've decided to give access, permission to the enemy, to your psyche, to your mind. And now he's got you jumping around, dancing like a puppet on a string. And you can't understand why you, why, why you, why you have no praise. You can't understand why you have no joy, no, no peace, no conviction, no conversion, even though you shout and praise the Lord. Repent and turn from your sins. Worship him in truth and spirit. Worship him wholeheartedly. He is the truth that will set you free. He is the mighty counselor. He is the rose of Sharon. He is the king of glory. He is the governor of heaven because he owns it. All authority was given to him. Seek him. Call out to him. Call out loud until he hears you. And when he hears you, call out some more. He wants you to get close to him. He wants you to know him. Get close to the consuming fire and you will get hot. I'm a living witness. Get close to him. Get close to the truth. And the truth will set you free. In Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus 